Hello, this is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc, with the week four first look as we look ahead. The Sunday night game is yet to be played. We have the Monday night field view and six scores up for the Cowboys versus the Eagles at the website and behind me. But let's talk about our first look a little bit. First of all, major injuries. Christian McCaffrey, he still may have an injured reserve stint coming. Just because he hasn't been on yet is meaningless because the Panthers have been on the mini bye after the Thursday game. We'll see what happens this week coming up. Tyler Lockett seems to have gotten lucky. Thought it was a mild MCL, but he returned to the game. He looked a little stiff, but uh, thinking that he's going to avoid something serious, which is good news. Maybe not so lucky for uh, KJ Hamler. There was limited views, but it looked like he at least strained his LCL. Hopefully, uh, avoids other ligament injury. But I don't see he doesn't how he doesn't miss time or end up on injured reserve. Same thing for James White, a Ryan Fitzpatrick-like hip subluxation, similar injury to Tua, but not as severe. James White is going to miss significant time in injured reserve with his hip pending the MRI. Blake Martinez is a knee injury, and let's keep our fingers crossed on that non-contact injury. A.J. Brown and a host of other players with hamstrings. Look, uh, hamstrings and wide receivers not really likely to play next week. We'll see how long. Could be IR, but we got to look at MRIs to tell there. Cluster injuries. Talk about hamstrings. Giants pass catchers. Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, both out. Didn't finish the game with hamstrings. And Evan Ingram is just coming back from his calf. They're tied in. Kenny Galladay did okay today, but still dealing with a hip flexor issue. So Giants pass catchers is a cluster injury spot to follow. Steelers pass catchers. Deontay Johnson missed the game today with his knee. I think he might have a chance to come back, but may not be 100%. Juju Smith-Schuster left with rib injuries. And Chase Claypool a couple of times was slow to get up. Steelers on their offensive line, you know, right tackle Zach Banner still on IR, still has not returned. The number two guy, a core four, had a concussion, and center Kendrick Green with a knee issue. As we continue to cluster injuries for the Steelers, Deontay Johnson missed with the knee with a chance to come back. Juju Smith-Schuster left the game with rib issues. We'll have to see. And Chase Claypool was in and out a little bit for the Steelers. But their O-line is a concern, too. Zach Banner, right tackle, is still out. His replacement, uh, a core four had a concussion, as well as center uh, Kendrick Green with a knee issue. So Big Ben may need more protection up front there, and he got banged up as well, the elbow, he's got the sore pec, et cetera. The Colts offensive line has some issues. Eric Fisher is still working his way back. He's playing, but not 100% from his Achilles. Left guard Quentin Nelson coming off the foot surgery, bone excision, had a high ankle sprain. And at this point, I think he's more likely to hit IR than to play next week. We'll see what happens. And right tackle Braden Smith has still been out with a foot and thumb issue. And Carson Wentz played today, obviously wasn't that mobile, uh, but he'll be better next week with both the uh, ankles. Uh, Broncos pass catchers. Sutton coming off the ACL looking better. Jerry Judy still out. And now uh, KJ Hamler out with at least the LCL spring. So they may be a little bit shorthanded. Big matchups heading into week four. Monday night football, Las Vegas Raiders at LA Chargers. I may actually go to the game with my family there. I think Josh Jacobs should make his return that game. Chargers with a big win this week. Cleveland versus Minnesota. Dalvin Cook should be back to face Odell Beckham. Beckham had a pretty good day today, considering his first week back, but still isn't 100%. Cook should be able to be much healthier and play. I think he was borderline for playing, but I think the Vikings made the right decision going for with Madison, who had uh, well over 100 yards. Another big matchup, the Baltimore Ravens against the Denver Broncos, 3-0. Baltimore, we picked Detroit Lions this week, minus seven and plus 7.5 Detroit Lions, and they almost won outright except for that 66-yard field goal. The Ravens are banged up offensively and defensively, had a big drop from week two to three. So we'll see what week four holds for them. They got defensive issue, running back issues, and Denver has its wide receiver issues. So that'll be a good uh, six score field view matchup. In the meantime, be sure to check out Cowboys versus Eagles at the website. Thanks for watching, and we'll have more details on the Pro Football Doc podcast tomorrow.